Oracle Apex features a number of different navigation menus that you can use in your applications. The first one that we see here is a navigation menu tree. I can collapse or expand this by clicking on this menu button in the header. I can also navigate to a page and see its child items, or expand child items for a node directly. Now, this navigation can be rendered in a number of different ways. I can go to Developer Toolbar and click on the Edit Application button. From here, go to Shared Components and then User Interface Attributes. Clicking on the Navigation Menu section will expose all the options you have available. For example, I can change the style from Style A to Style B to see a different variation of the same navigation menu. So let's reload the page and notice that now the topmost item has a blue highlight. There are also additional navigation patterns you can use as well. For example, I can position my navigation at the top and use the top navigation menu. If I apply my changes and go back to my application, you'll notice that now the navigation is rendered as a menu bar. Here, I can go through and use even my keyboard to navigate. However, what if you wanted to have your navigation displayed as a tabs menu? This is also possible. Again, Going back to user interfaces, I can simply change the top navigation menu to top navigation tabs. Here, I have additional options. For example, for desktop devices or large screens, I'd like to display the labels inline, uh, above labels, or not show labels at all. I can also choose my mobile display settings. For example, whether I want to display labels or not. Let's apply my changes and see how this looks. Again, going back to my application and reloading. Notice that the navigation is now rendered at the very top of the screen. Also, there are no sub-items displayed. Now, let's say that I was using a smaller screen, for example, a tablet. What will happen is the navigation will automatically jump to the very bottom of the screen. This is especially handy on mobile devices where your thumb is closest to the bottom of the screen, allowing for easy navigation. Now, let's use the Mega Menu. I'm going to update the list template to Top Navigation Mega Menu. And this time, I'm going to toggle full width and also set the layout to five columns. Let's apply the changes and then run the page. Here, clicking on the navigation menu button will now expose a mega menu, which will show all the options available. So I will see the parents and the children at once. Let's go and change this option one more time. I'm going to uncheck full width, and instead display a menu callout, and also render this layout as stacked. Apply the changes and run the page. Clicking on the menu button now, will show a little callout arrow and also expose all of my navigation menu items at once. The best thing about this is that it works perfect on mobile. So imagine that I'm using a small screen, I can click on my navigation items and still access everything at once. As you can see, navigation menus are a powerful way to add easy navigation to your application without writing any code.